Hello guys, Squirrel here, and uh, we're just picking up where we left off last time, if you remember, we're in the MAN truck, having just delivered a load of, look it's gone already, uh, some ice cream I think it was. We are in El Hama, and a ton of you guys said you really need to go over to Tripoli, because apparently you can visit the, the airport. Some people are saying you can fly out of there. Um, I'm not convinced, but I am tempted to try and get a job that will take me here, just so that I can go past and have a quick look. So hopefully, if we can get something with a job out of Tripoli, because uh, if you look on the map, uh, let's just see Tripoli on the map. Tripoli is actually over here, and I think you can get a job that takes you up here into Italy, somewhere here, because this is part of the TSM expansion as well. Now, one thing to mention, I did try Realistic Physics version 6, and it appeared to work. However, it did something rather horrible. It uh, cut the map off here, so all of this Africa stuff was gone. The, this part of Italy and the extensions to the south, south of France from TSM was fine, but for some really reason, Realistic Physics 6 cut off Africa. It's kind of screwed it up for me, so I had to take that back out. Otherwise, I was hoping to have some realistic physics with um, no speed limit, which would have been kind of cool. Now, I want to buy a new truck. So what I was thinking was, is I would buy one online. However, in order to buy a new truck online, I have to have at least three other trucks in my company portfolio. Um, so what I want to do is, I've noticed that there is, I don't know, what's the right way here then? Every man for himself. Fair enough. Get out of the way. I should think you did. Thank you. Um, what was I saying? Oh yes. I noticed there's a, a garage down here, so I'm going to buy this, which will allow me to transfer back into here, having bought a truck. Because you can buy a truck, send it to this garage, swap it, and then transfer down here. So, let's buy a new home. So I've now got a garage, a really crappy one. Actually, it's not a crappy one. That's a medium-sized one. That's quite nice. Um, but considering we are um, in the research profile and we have eight trillion dollars or pounds, um, what we're going to do is going to upgrade it because we can. Absolutely no reason to do that other than it kind of looks cool. So we've now got two large garages and what I need to do is get some trucks so uh truck dealers of course i'm gonna to have to buy scanniers you know that so i think what we'll do is buy online oh we can't buy online bugger talking crap but there is a scanner dealer in el hammer so we'll visit that we'll stack up some scanner trucks into the company fit them out with some people yes 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 let's give them some nice ones there we go uh customize let's just make it into white That'll do. Well, purchase these. Do you want to drive? No. I want you to deliver it to El Hammer. So that's one truck. And we'll purchase another one. Uh, put that into El Hammer. Uh, purchase. And we'll stick that one into Algier. Okay, that deals with the trucks. Uh, recruitment. So we'll just hire some drivers. Uh, he looks cool, the little beret. Doesn't really matter. You can go into that one, sir. And um, you look like you should work in a bar or something, but you could, I'll let you drive a Scania. Why not? And um, you look a bit like a... I'm not going to say it. <laughs> I'm not going to say that, what he looks like. He looks dodgy. Uh, he, he looks really... He looks like um, Bill Gates. Well, hi, Bill Gates. Bill Gates should drive a Scania truck for me. Definitely. Right, so that should do it. That's got a, a lot of people. So now we can go to the truck dealers and click on Iveco. And we can go and see our special treat. Buy online. Where are you? You're not... There you are. Missing you. The Peterbilt 379. I've had a lot of requests to drive this truck. So I'm going to customize this. Not a lot of customizations to be had. 
which is slightly disappointing. It does have the sun visor. I got slated for taking the sun visor off the um, the last time I drove a flipping American truck. I think it was a Kenworth. Uh, I didn't put the sun visor on. People were like, what are you doing? You've got to have that on. Okay, okay, sorry, dudes. Um, there's not a lot of customization. We do, of course, want the 560 brake Cursor 13 engine. So that's 2,500 newton meters. That's pretty good torque. 560 should pull pretty decent loads. Not the Boabab tree, for sure, but it should cope with most of what we're going to throw at it. Disappointingly, there's no transmission options. Uh, inside the cabin, there are zero configuration items. Having said that, it does look rather good. I can't look backwards. As you can see, they've not implemented the model behind. Um, but I would say that this looks pretty nice. Quite well done. Um, but this is a special bit. Look at that. Oh my god. There is just no better paint job for this truck. Seriously. If that isn't all American, I don't know what is. It's hilarious. It's brilliant. Uh, of course, I do get to do some customizations, and I'm going to slap on some good years with the red center because I think they look brilliant with this paint scheme. Absolute beast. Again, no configuration options on the mirrors, um, no lights, no horns, just nothing. It is pretty much take it as it is. Um, but yeah, the view out the front with the with the old white American flag thing going on, wonderful. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to buy that. Purchase. We'll have it delivered to El Hammer, so we'll hand, send it to the garage we just bought there. And then what we can do is go to Truck Manager. Click on Drive It, so we'll drive that. So do you want to reassign your man TX? Yes, I do. So that's we're now in the in the pizza built, and the man is in there. So that means we've got a spare guy. So we'll hire another driver. Uh, well, I'm not taking Dodgy Boy. He looks funny. He looks like you. you he looks like the all American father, doesn't he? Like the father figure with the big, big mustache. Looks like he was in the, an army vet in Nam. So we're going to hire him, and he can go and drive that man truck for a bit of extra cash. Why not? And we are left with this. Oh my word. Take a look at this. Let's bring it out into the sunshine thing. Does this look amazing or what? Honestly, that is a beautifully designed truck. Quite realistic as well. Quite faithful to the Peterbilt design, I would say. What do you think? I love it. I think it's amazing. Um, we have one last thing to do because we are now in, annoyingly, Algier. Even though I had the truck delivered to El Hammer. Um, pretty bizarre. Don't know why it did that. But I have found a way around it. We just go to uh, Company Manager, um, Garage Manager, click on El Hammer. And we can uh, quick travel. Do you want to instantly go to Slitzy Garage? Yep. And we should be. Whoa, don't throw my truck on the floor, dude. Listen to that. Oh, this looks pretty good at night. Look at this. Let's get some lights on. Look at that. Look at that, like, nighttime glow. That looks fantastic. I'll tell you another thing that they did with this Peterbilt, as opposed to the um, the, the other... Was it the Kenworth I drove like this? Look. The rear view actually works properly. If you remember on the Kenworth, that would just clip and you couldn't see anything behind you, but they've actually done a proper job on this one. Right, let's see if we can find a job. Uh, maybe down to Tripoli. If not, I'm tempted to drive around, but we'll see what happens. This is what we've got. So... Uh, El Hama. We have a job all the way inland. I don't really want to do that. What about a short one, maybe? Oh, that's... What's that? Zawara. Tomatoes. 
what the same load as last time hmm maybe I should just remove that trailer I think the job's right but I don't want that trailer again right I have removed that bulk coal or ice cream or whatever it was uh, so now it's just standard tomatoes but I've got to admit that's really dull I don't really want to take that it's boring. So what I'm going to try is see if we can look out by going to sleep. Rest again. Job market. El Hammer. Come on, just one job. Just one interesting job. Aha, what's this? 25 tons of of furniture to Roma <coughs> via Tripoli, I think. Awesome! Which means we get to go past the airport. Let's take it. How quickly? It expires in an hour and a half. Oh, crap. Right, let's get a move on. Listen to that music. Hilarious. Let's hope. Nothing's coming. Oh, that's a dead end there, anyway. We live in a cul-de-sac, it seems. Let's put some lights on. Wow, the lights are pretty good on this thing, aren't they? I'm trying to zoom in. It seems to be just over the road here. Are you going to let me go? Are you serious? Cool, it looks like we should make the pickup anyway. Uh, I'm, the, I'm assuming that's it over there. Drives quite nice of this thing. 2.20 in the morning, which means we'll be... Getting up to sunrise pretty soon. Yes, please. Let's take that furniture of yours. We're going to UPS some furniture to Italy. And I think when the when the daylight breaks, we shall have a look at this thing from the outside. It's a little bit hard to see where we are. There we go. Let's just straighten up a bit. Bit of blindside reverse. I'm not sure where the clipping zone is going to be on this thing. That feels like we're inside it. There we go. There's the pickup. Okay, let's get this show on the road. Twenty-five tons. It'll be interesting to see what it feels like. Oh look at the road! Look where we're going! We're going to insanity! Look at the twists on this! Well, this is going to find out how good this engine is. Wow. Baptism of fire. Brand new truck. Mercedes-Benz. Are you going straight on, sir? Or are you going this way? You might regret that. You should have gone before me. Pretty certain you would have done a lot better. Is he following me? I can't tell. It's struggling. Listen to that. It's changing down. <laughs> awesome. This is going to be a very entertaining drive, and I guarantee you I'm going to be late. Because even if... Even if I could get this thing there on time, I'm going to stop at the airport anyway and have a look around at Tripoli. So um, I hope they're not expecting to get this on time. That's not my priority. My priority is to try out this truck. This, I have to say so far, awesome truck. And to visit parts of Africa. So if we're going to pass through any cities, which I think we are. Wow, this thing doesn't want to turn. Whoa. Yeah, sorry about that, mate. I'm trying to... 
I'm trying to turn, but I can't. I do use a Logitech Extreme 3D Pro joystick, which is a lot better than using a keyboard and mouse, I can tell you that much. For a start, it's analog. I only use the left and right on the stick itself. It's got a little throttle paddle on it because it's meant for flight sims. I use that for my accelerating and braking. Uh, so that's completely analog as well, which means I can control the throttle properly. But I have to use an automatic gearbox because I don't have any kind of a shifter. Um, however, very shortly I shall be switching to using a steering wheel. These guys are not very happy with me. I'm not surprised. I have got my headlights on full beam. And B, I'm going on the wrong side of the road an awful lot. So I can... They're understandably pissed. I would have liked to have seen this twisting through the daytime, but... Nighttime's quite interesting as well. Um... Hello. Oh, a bit of income. I thought I'd been fined for a minute then, so for God's sake, I can't possibly be speeding up here. That would be ridiculous. Um, so yeah, I am switching to a Logitech Extreme 3D... Uh, sorry, switching to that? No, I'm not. I'm switching to a Logitech G27 steering wheel, which has a H-shifter on it, uh, and has the pedals and all the rest of it, which basically means pretty soon I'm going to be pouring out videos explaining the Logitech um, and also I am going to be switching to manual transmission using a steering wheel and all of that good stuff so I'll be able to get up these hills by controlling the gears and that's going to be fun and interesting to find out how good that is which I shall relay to you guys and you'll be able to watch me do it another big twisty road coming up, look at this it's 3am we should start seeing daybreak in about an hour and then we'll see more of this wonderful scenery I received I have received so many messages from you guys asking, look at those cows, oh my god, you see their heads going up and down like a yo-yo I've received so many messages from you guys um, you're all wonderful by the way, truly, honestly, I don't, I mean that you send me so many messages of support and suggestions and all kinds of things. Um, for those guys that are sending me messages asking me to help you with to figure out mods and all the rest of it, this is struggling like hell. Oh my god. <laughs> Come on, you can do it! Um, I can't reply to all of you. Uh, if you leave comments on the videos then quite often or even on the Facebook page, people post comments asking about mods and stuff. A lot of the other guys will help you out. Um, because they're really friendly like that, and they, and they are helpful people. A lot of the guys that follow me are really nice chaps, and they help others out. So if you post comments asking for help, you know, leave as much information as you can, and hopefully somebody will help you out. They usually do. But personally, I'm just getting swamped. <laughs> with messages and, and God knows what else. I can't deal with everything right now, guys, honestly. I'd love to, and I used to be able to, but the rate that things are coming in now, very difficult. However, a lot of you guys have sent me messages asking me to try out more American trucks. Uh, so here we are, we're trying out an, another American truck. I specifically received requests to try out a Peterbilt, which I'm doing. Uh, I have to say, I, I do like driving these American trucks um, as, a vo as opposed to the European style cab over they are a lot different to drive a lot in more interesting one of the big things about the engine noises I've noticed with this is uh, when I drove the uh, the Kenworth W900L was it the engine sound for that had a very high pitched turbo noise turbo whine you could hear it really it's very pronounced and whilst it was quite fun I know a lot of people didn't enjoy it with the headphones uh, listening to that kind of turbo whine. Uh, so this engine sounds a lot better, there's not so much turbo whine. I just wish I had manual gears right now because these hill climbs are a killer. Come on, come on! Ninth gear, come on, get some revs down. Let's lower the, lower the gear and get some revs going. 
the the automatic transmission is well like a lot of automatic transmissions it tries but generally doesn't do a very good job but I'm stuck with it for now but not for long I am also in the process of changing some of my hardware spec um, as of today actually I'm, I, I've placed an order for some stuff um, mostly because I think I have I have some weird issue with my current motherboard setup and it's a long-standing issue listen to this fifth gear cars flying past me come on come on 25 tons of furniture we shall deliver you not on time but we shall deliver you um, I have some motherboard issues I've always had them for months now months and months I've tried all kinds of things I get these odd blue screens and lockups. I think it's a memory timing issue. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, I could just replace memory and motherboard and you know all that, but I just don't have time to to troubleshoot it and get all of that downtime. So I'm just going to build a new computer and then move over to that. Uh, it's going to be a lot easier. It means I can basically carry on recording while I'm getting my new PC set up, uh, so that I can make videos for you guys. Um, but you might be wondering what kind of setup I'm going for. Uh, I'm going to go for an, uh, an Intel i7 uh, Haswell, which is like the new chip, the new chipset with a super thin, wafer thin, 22 nanometers or whatever it is, latest Intel stuff, uh, and a nice Intel motherboard, Haswell motherboard, and 16 gig of RAM, which is no different to what I have now, except that it's blisteringly quick it's like 2300 megahertz it's super fast uh, and then an SSD and a hard drive oh and I'm gonna upgrade the graphics card so currently I have a, a GTX 680 which is a very good card but I'll be moving up to a GTX 780 I think uh, so that that should do me quite nicely for a few years I think but more I'm basically after st stability. I need stability when I'm streaming and recording. I can't be doing with blue screens randomly. Well, this is getting nice. Look, 4:30 a.m. We can start to see the proper geography of this road now. I should be able to drop the main beam shortly. Look at that skyline. Beautiful. Beautiful. This is a hell of a mountain pass. They did a great job on this map. This TSM map is really good. I can't wait till the now the 1.4 patch is out. Again, I made that patch 1.4 patch video, and a lot of people are confused about how to upgrade. Um, if you don't use Steam, you can just go to the Euro Truck Simulator 2 website and download the the upgrade and just upgrade your installation. If you use Steam, it's not an automatic upgrade currently; it's an optional upgrade. So if you right-click on your your truck simulator 2 game in steam do properties i think it's the last tab you'll see an opt into beta thing so currently on steam 1.4 is classed as a an optional beta uh, it's not a beta but the classing it as that because it does break a lot of stuff um, at some point it'll go to you see that guy take a photograph it's quite a good view as well don't blame him um, let's take the main beams off now i think you, so yeah, you do have to go there and manually uh, select that you want the 1.4 version, and that's how you do it in Steam. Look at this herpin. Look at this herpin. Have this thing got a retarder on it? Let me listen. Doesn't sound like it has. There was no tr there was no transmission um, with the retarder, and there was no. Oh my life! Hang on a second. We need to look at that. Whoa, look at that sound down there. Fantastic. What a view. What a view. This is the way. This is the way to drive trucks, people. Hey, that Mercedes Benz is still behind me. Oh my god, has he been following me for all that time? That's incredible. That red Merc that was back in um, the town, he's still behind me. That's shocking. He really should have got past me. Uh, hell, was it El Halamas? I think we can kill the lights now as well. 5 a.m. and it's daylight. Look at this. This is a bit like. 
I don't know what it's like actually. I've never really seen scenery like this. I was going to say it's a bit like Vietnam, some of the hills in Vietnam, but it's not. It's not, not green enough. Wonderful though. I think we'll have a look at the map in a second and just see where we're up to. Um, it says we've got another 1,500 kilometres, but don't forget a large portion of that is going to be by ferry, I think. Here's a junction. Habira. It's the right. I might have. Hang on, let me have a look at the map. Yeah, Hibera is a undiscovered town, which it would be nice to get, but practically speaking, just looking at that, it's not going to happen. What's interesting about that is this. So you think you could turn right, go to Hibera, then come back here and go that way, but judging by the fact that the sat-nav is taking us that way, there must be no junction here, so I'm guessing that... Was that the high bridge that we could see to the right? No, it's too far away. They must be at different heights, different elevations. And also notice what, what happens through here. So you could just get off there and, and wind your way up to Hibera, but we don't. So yeah, I can't discover Hibera, unfortunately. Um, Tunis has been discovered. So I think we're going to drive down to Zawara. We need to check out I don't know how far that is, but I may end up having to rest in Zawara. Um, we'll just have to see how it goes. But yeah, a lot, of, a lot of this is going to be daylight now. How long have we got left? Um, we have next rest stop in 7 hours 43 minutes. Looks like some kind of farm. Log, logs? Maybe it's just a log company. There's still a speed limiter, unfortunately. Like I said before, the... Really disappointingly, the Realistic Physics 6, which allegedly fixes a lot of problems from 5, works with TSM. It lets you get into the game and you can drive and all the physics works properly, but it cuts off Africa. In all honesty, I don't get that. I don't get that at all. Why does a mod that messes around with the physics of trucks, how can it possibly break the map? How can it possibly just cut off Africa? It's just, it, it blows my mind how that's happening. Whoa, 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 this doesn't want to turn. Come on. Any of you guys actually drive these trucks for real? Is the turning really that slowly, or is it just the fact I'm using a joystick? I guess I'll find out when I get a steering wheel. If I can make those turns a lot better. But it just seems like the gearing is really slowly towards the end. Let's see if we can get on this road. Oh wow, it's just empty, look at this. Oh look, I just noticed the indicators under the mirror. Awesome. Nice. Some lovely little model touches in this. I think now's the time to have a quick inspection, don't you? We've not really seen this truck in the daylight. Oh, it looks so good. Are they birds up above? That looks beautiful. Look at this. I'm really impressed with this truck. Let's get back inside before I eventually hit a bend and <laughs> cause some damage. <laughs> 